Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode, the penultimate episode, potentially, penultimately, of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last time we did the first half of the World S Green Stars, and today we are going to finish them off, put them in the books officially. Here we are, World S, back to the beginning. If you've been following this series from the beginning, or if you've just started watching it, Toss a like on the video. Maybe give me a comment, let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't. Use the bell thing for notifications. I need to go on someone's video and steal their animation so I don't have to make one myself. I bet you could buy one. I mean, I do this for a living, so technically I could make it myself, but that would require effort. I don't have it. So, anyway, Mario Squared Galaxy, Green Star number two. Star will be here, that is wrong. It's actually not where it will be. And, uh,. Star bits don't matter anymore. Why is that? Well, like I mentioned before, there was going to be a point where I was going to have to be grinding. That has been done, ladies and gentlemen. Green stars are a thing of the past. Looks like the green, not green star, star bits. I can't even talk, I'm so excited. Boop, done. That's one star in one minute. Yeah, but anyway, as I was trying to say, I did a lot of grinding and for all of you. I got all those star bits. So I won't need to do that. I have all of them. All the remaining star bits are just whatever. Inconsequential, you could say. Which actually makes me a little bummed out because I did love collecting them. And up until that moment, it was full steam ahead. I was very excited about it. And uh, now I realize I hate it, so. There was the, the Melty Monster Galaxy star that I showed you where you can become Boulder Mario and do all the uh, whatever. The rolling back and forth to collect star bits. I did that like a thousand times. Didn't take as long as I thought it would, but it took long enough. So, oof. It was not my favorite thing to do, but I have it now, so... Going forward, I don't have to worry about any star bits here. I can just go slow, slow, slow. And stay under control. You know the deal. So we did the first green star in this mission, which was a little early in the star. I think this one's probably near the end, if I had to guess. That would make sense, wouldn't it? But yes, this will be the last kind of regular variety star episode. I think that we will conclude this Let's Play hopefully in the next episode, the one that'll come on Thursday. It's amazing how much better I can control this when I actually know what I'm doing. Because when I try to do that purple coin mission, whew, that was not good. All right, I say that. Ugh, boy. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves, D-Mike. We are still not all the way there. So I haven't seen it yet, so I'm assuming it's got to be a little further along, but yes. This glorious series is unfortunately- oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, no, 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 wait, no, no, no! <laughs> oh, I went right- I moved right past ya! Oh. Oh, poo. Well, that's not what I meant to do, viewers. Oops! Oh, let's get the star, let's go ahead and grab it, just kidding, bye! <laughs> Mario turns into a a blurry watercolor. The meat crayon in the sky. Yes, it's been whew, five, six months. Kind of ridiculous to think about. And that would mean that the next series that will replace this one will be starting in October. It'll officially be spooky season, viewers. How exciting is that? No, no, no. It's great. I won't have to see this level in my nightmares anymore. I'll be able to rest easy. This level in particular is not bad. It's the it's the purple coins one, which I feel they did something to it. They tainted it. They changed it because it's not I'm not having any trouble anymore and I'm not any better, probably worse. So, Nintendo, you got some explaining to do. 
Yes, the next series will be coming up. That's two new series within the span of a month of each other. That wasn't really timed out on purpose. This one I kind of timed the way... Oh, no. <laughs> That's too bad. This one I did kind of time out on purpose. I... When I started to do the green stars, I didn't really have a rhyme or reason. I mean, the reason was to get all of them, but no rhyming. I was a poet, and I I was not a poet, and I knew it. So anyway, euphemisms aside, I didn't really have a plan, no game plan, no scheme, no blueprint. So eventually, I timed it out of my head and used some very intense AI algorithms to do the math that if I did four stars per, or sorry, six stars per episode, that I would be able to end this game, this series, by October. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. So, a week from the day that this goes up, you'll be seeing something new. I actually bought some new tech for it as well, so you're welcome. I'm investing in this channel, viewers, okay? Don't think that I don't care about you. I'm taking care of all of you. And you're... No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I think I need to pump the brakes on that one a little bit. I'm not even getting to the area where the star is. Come on. Ooh. Viewers, I'm just trying to prepare you for the horrors that will take place in the next episode. I'm assuming that I'll be able to put both star 241 and 242, which I've heard allegedly, according to some of my viewers, is just apocalyptically hard. I don't know if that's a good adjective, but I just liked it. But yes, I was told that it's very difficult, as they should be. Those are supposed to be the longest and hardest missions out there, so... We have to prove ourselves 240 stars in the bank, eventually. Do we have what it takes to go all the way? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh! All right. Why do we say oh boy? I guess, oh, girl would be weird. Oh, oh, lady. Oh, gals. I guess you could say that if you want to be a little bit fairer. All right, so it's right there. Can I get it? If I, if I, wait, if I go this way, can I get it? Nope. <laughs> All right, so I think we have to pass that gap Mind the gap, and just jump for it. Because that platform, as you just saw, is far too low. So here's what I'm gonna do, viewers. I'm gonna give you two more tries, two more good college tries. I actually have to get there first for it to be considered a try. I don't want to shortchange you. Some hilarity of me goofing, goofing. So that's what you'll get, two good tries. Also, if you're wondering why I have a ton of lives, when you collect 1800 plus star bits, you do wind up with a lot of lives, surprisingly. And that level that I was in doing it with the boulder bowl thing, I uh, had a one up in it. So I was picking up 150, 200 star bits of pop, soda pop, and then the one up. Man, that is terrifying. That. Me, 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 me. That sounds like a. Haunted Circus. All right, so here we go. Try number one, mind the gap. Oops. <laughs> okay, so I think I had to jump. I think I have... Yes. I think just rolling at it is not good enough. So here we go, try number two. This will be the last one you'll see on screen. The next attempt will be me getting it, which is exciting. It's one of the things I tried not to do in this Let's Play, is I didn't want to cut away too much. I know that it's really common nowadays. I say this like this matters, it doesn't. But I know that it's common nowadays for some of the format of Let's Playing, which the fact that they're even that's even a statement is weird. It's just making content, like Let's Playing, is its own thing. Um, it's just a video walkthrough, and you know that. But it's astounding to me that I had somebody once 
a viewer recently, which thank you for watching, whoever you are, if this sounds familiar, if this sounds like you saying this, then pat yourself on the back. Um, they said that I reminded them of the old style of Let's Playing, which I didn't know that was a thing. Apparently the new style is cutting together a bunch of memes and crap and just throwing it together in this? Nope. <laughs> All right, viewers. I'll catch y'all with a successful green star. And there you have it, viewers. That was only like my fourth off-screen try. Also first try. Pretty good. I don't know why that was so tricky for me. That really, wa really, that really wasn't so bad. That really wasn't so bad. That's two stars in uh, however many minutes. Great. Good job, us. Good job, viewers. We did it. It's time for the Twisty Trials. I have no idea what this one's going to be about. I'm a little nervous, viewers. I don't, I don't know what to expect. I also didn't get to finish my statement. Okay. I've got a feeling that we've already seen this one. I do remember this one being visible. Not that one. Maybe it was that one that we saw. I don't know. There it is. Okay. So not too bad. This one shouldn't take me too many tries. Knock on wood! I got him! But anyway, as I was trying to say earlier, um, it's been a hot minute since I had this on my brain because I did all those attempts. I was getting really sick of that Rainbow Ride song, by the way, so I'm glad I was able to finish that level on my first try. But anyway, uh, yeah, I had somebody tell me, back to my original statement, bear with me here, viewers. Um, Actually, I don't know if I need all of these or not. So I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab them all. I could probably do it in one, but you never know. But yeah, I had a viewer not terribly long ago say that I that they really liked what I did, which I appreciated. Hopefully, all of you enjoy this channel and what I'm doing. If not, that'd be kind of weird to be watching crap you don't like. But hopefully, I'm making stuff you do enjoy because I'm enjoying making it. So I feel like some of the time, that's half the battle. If the person that's making the content isn't having a good time, then it's kind of hard not to, then it's kind of hard to enjoy it as well. If they're just phoning it in, but I'm not phoning it in. I'm doing this because I enjoy it. It's a good, uh, relaxing thing for me to do. And funny enough, I actually just recently was uh, able to acquire, if you follow my Twitter account, which you should because I post stuff there once a month. Um, yeah, I was able to get myself a hand, my, get my hands on a PlayStation 5. So, That'll be fun to do. I actually haven't really played it yet. I have it, and I just haven't really done anything with it. Where is this green star? It's like, I, did I pass it? Where is it? Uh, I have no idea. I wasn't paying attention, viewers! But yeah, I got a PS5, and I didn't really have a chance. I, like, got it all plugged in and synced up and stuff and whatever. But I haven't really done anything with it, so... Is that just that? Hold on. Where in the good gosh dang is it? Uh, um, okay. Like, the first one was easy to see. Can I zoom out? No? Okay. Well, viewers, we've come too far. But anyway, yeah. It actually took me a while to get it. It's been two years since the PlayStation 5 came out, right? I think, based on my, uh, guesstimation. Oh, thank god we got the combat medal. So that's done. Or do I hear it somewhere? I think I do hear it. Oh, there it is. There it is, viewers. Wee. Anyway, easy peasy. This next star is probably going to be a pain in the buns. But anyway, the uh, the PS5. Yeah. So here's how this works. You will get if you sign up for the. Um, the Sony PlayStation 5 get them sweepstakes, whatever it is, I don't know. They will send you an access code if you win the lottery from their artificial scarcity. So if you win the lottery, you uh, they'll give you an access code, and that access code on a specific day and a specific time gives you the option to log into the Sony website and join the queue. For all you British people out there, I'm sure you love that, love queuing. Join the queue. 
the good kind of Q, not the kind that makes you think that there's pizza basement vampires. Um, so join the Q, and uh, if you go at the right time, you can buy a PlayStation 5. Easy, right? Common sense, right? Well, I mean, yeah, it is. I'm just stupid. So what I did, actually, the first time, this is my second go-round. I won the lottery twice. How often does that happen, viewers? So I won the lottery twice. And the first time, though, I didn't understand the rules, which is not surprising to me in the... Oops. Okay, that's too bad. I didn't understand the rules. I thought that if you won the lottery, it was basically Sony saying, here's a reservation. We are holding one... PS5. For you, D-Mike. Just, just for you. Is that what happened? No. That is not what happened. So, they give you a two-hour window. Where you're like, oh yeah, two hours. That's a good amount of time, right? Two hours is plenty of time to log in. Especially when you're busy, because you have a job and you're an adult. And you can go at your leisure when you get off work. And buy your PlayStation 5. Is that what happens, viewers? Wrong. It's not what happens. What actually happens and what they mean is that they're giving you exactly two hours to have the opportunity. Great. Two hours to have the opportunity to get a PlayStation 5. To have an opportunity to wait in line. It doesn't mean you get one. I didn't know that. So I did not get one. And this was about maybe six months ago. So I learned my lesson. The lesson learned that... Uh, Sony are a bunch of b-holes, and if you don't read the fine, fine, fine print, that uh, you're out of luck. You're SOL, as we like to say in the business. And that stands for strawberries out of luck. So, I was SOL that day, and I did not get my PlayStation 5, sadly. Was not able to get one. I didn't feel entitled to it, but, you know, I waited. Viewers, I waited. Hooey! Is this good enough? Okay, great. So I waited and, and I waited and I waited and I waited and I did not got my, I did not got, I did not get my PS5. I learned that in order to get in line soon enough to actually buy one, you have to be in the queue at exactly the time that they tell you when it opens. So why, why do they say two hours? Because it's not two hours. It's probably in the first 10 minutes that the opportunity will exist, and if you don't do it by then, then you'll lose your chance. So, I don't know. It seemed a little stupid to me, but the second time around, I was actually at work, but I put it on my calendar that I had a meeting so people wouldn't bother me, and I got in line. I had to wait an additional 45 minutes, so maybe that's part of the two hours. Wait in that queue, but I got my PlayStation 5, which is great. I bought zero games for it, so I didn't have anything to play at first. So instead, I had to transfer all my old games from my PlayStation 4, some of which had upgrades. I think one of them had an upgrade. Any game that had a dual release for the PlayStation 4 and 5, for instance, Horizon Forbidden West, that game would get a free upgrade to the PlayStation 5. If it's a game that came out on the PS4 first, most likely it would just get an update. Now, there are some games that they did actually remaster again, for the PS5, like The Last of Us, great game, very fun, but you had to rebuy that. So I had the PlayStation 4 remastered version, which is not the PlayStation 5 remastered version, and I wasn't spending $70. But here's a fun fact for all of you. If you buy games on the PlayStation 4 that are also available on the PS5, you can get that free update. I'd recommend doing that. So for instance, Horizon Forbidden West, that game normally retails for about $70 runies on the PlayStation Network store. I bought it on the PlayStation 4 for $35. Upgraded for free. These are the tips that Sony doesn't want you to know, viewers. I'm sharing it with you live. Probably gonna get like a, a cease and desist le letter coming up to my channel soon. I don't care. I'm trying to help a, a baller on a budget. Ooh, that was dumb. But that's how you do it technically the only new game that I have. All the other games that I have are old, so that's fine. The updates are supposed to be like 60 FPS patches. For those of you who don't know what that is, it means frames per second. Just a, just a visual upgrade. Makes them run and look, look better. So back to Mario. This part of the uh, 
boss blitz galaxy is so fun because if I remember correctly, oops, I should probably get a coin. If I remember correctly, we have to go all the way to Boulder guys for this one. Isn't that awesome, viewers? Oh yeah. All right. Come on, Monty. The boob got him. Just break his neck. Where is he? Uh, sir. There you are. I need you to come out. Of hiding. Boop. I'm gonna get your buns. Lots of hugging bear. I do like that I can skip the cutscenes though, because I'm a speedrunner. All those star bits that I'm ignoring now, it feels very wrong. I also feel like I'm not ground pounding correctly. All right, come here. Oh, come here, buddy. No, no. Uh, he launched us right into the chocolate. He's a speedy boy. And boop. All right, come back. No. Ugh. All these spiky plants. I don't think I've actually ever really looked at the underside of this. Is there another coin I can have? Or just not be stupid and not get hurt, maybe? Oh boy. <laughs> no. Don't do this to me. Oh, I thought I heard the sound of a, a coin gem crystal opening up. I need to listen to my crystals. To my star sign, viewers. What's your star sign, viewers? Actually, just kidding. I don't care. And if you care, good for you. All right. It's not that I don't care. It's just that I don't have interest in it. And I'm not concerned about it in any meaningful way. Ooh, I thought he got me. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right. So I think the next fight should be Bouldergeist. I'm not super convinced. Oh, there's coins right here. Never mind. I think the star is off the platform somewhere. Uh, somewhere here? Oh, I see it over there. Viewers! There it is. Now I just have to get it? Oh, he tries to throw his... Oh. <laughs> well, viewers, that's not how you do that one. Wow. At least they give me the, uh... The pity checkpoint. Imagine if that wasn't there. I could see myself having a hard reset in my brain. How far off this range to jump? I thought I had it. Oh. <laughs> That's too bad. I got stuck on the railing, viewers. I was too afraid to jump. Don't jump, Mario. Save yourself. It's okay. We're doing fine. How's everybody liking Pikmin, by the way, huh? That's a lot of fun, right? It's a good change of pace. I saw that the move to the Wednesday slot has been a, a pretty good success so far. I'm gonna keep doing that. No more Saturday stuff for now, but maybe we'll come back to it. Okay. Now, one of the worst levels in the game, the final star of today's episode. <sighs> flip out, Galaxy. Am I going to flip out, viewers? I might. This is the final regular star of the game. 240, here it is. Let's get this out of the way. I've got a feeling this one is gonna be something. I say that like the next two stars aren't about to be as equally, if not worse. That was not a very good sentence. Pretty bad grammar. What else is new? All right, so I'm assuming it is near the end as it should be. But if you remember, I don't know if I saw it over there or not. If you remember, we have to deal with the cosmic clones this time around, which is great. That happens once we hit this pipe. Might need to hit the pipe to chill out. Gain our composure. Here we go, cosmic clones on tap. Last time we'll be seeing them, I think. I don't know that for sure, actually. I actually don't know if I've gone stars 241 and 2. It's been a hot minute. Hey, do. This one is so far so good. Would really enjoy some checkpoint flags though to get us through it. There's one. Very nice. Ignore this obese pea hat. 
These cosmic clones are all up in my business. I like how that just gives you, oh no. Oh, I like how that gives you just enough distance to make that long jump. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I made it look intentional, so. That's all that matters, viewers. You're getting the best of the best here. Checkpoint flag number dose. Whoa, all right. This is the part last time, if you remember, that gave me a lot of trouble. Nope, no, stop, quit, quit, stop. Oh no, we're done. <laughs> well, I knew that was gonna come and happen. Oh boy. We're not too far from the end where I believe that this star would be. All right, there we go. Slide down. No, no. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that there's a, um, I don't think there's a checkpoint flag in between here and the end, so this one is gonna burn my buns a little bit. I don't know if I can, oh, I can do it that way. Oh, D-Mike, you're so smart. My goodness. All right, so, whoops. Go over here. Jump on the, nope. You gotta really launch hard off that other one. Okay, so, a lot of long jumps. Oh boy, all right, we can do it. I believe in us. Nope, <laughs> that's not a long jump, viewers. We're fine now. Viewers, it's fine, stop panicking. Jeez, you're wringing your hands, I can see it. It'd be really creepy if I could actually know what was happening there, but I, I don't. All right, there we go. All right. Now, can I get it from up here? Like... Viewers, we've done it. We have collected 240 stars. An incredible achievement. Pretty much worthy of a Nobel Prize. On our first try. 240 first tries. Wow. Pat yourselves in the back, it was incredible. Well done. Okay. Well, viewers, with such an accomplishment, I think that that deserves two more stars, which you can only unlock if you have this many star bits. 9,999. No thanks. Screw you, Bank Toad. What to do? I don't know. But that's it for the day, everybody. If you like this video, thumbs it up, toss me a comment, and subscribe to see the final episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I will see you next time for the finale. Bye.